Dave Taylor from AskDaveTaylor.com and today I'm going to show you something really cool. I'm going to show you how to take the high definition video output from any computer really, though we'll be looking at a laptop, and feed it right into a television and watch anything you want. Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, right there on your TV without a cable box, without any dish networks, without anything else, just straight off the computer. To do this, we're going to need a laptop or some sort of a computer with an HDMI output. You can see here. And we're going to need an HDMI cable. Here's my cable. And we're going to need a TV with HDMI input. Now, let me tell you, HDMI is the high definition multimedia interface. Complicated. You don't really have to worry about it. But you need to make sure you get the right cable. And I have an interesting one here because I have a unidirectional HDMI cable. One end says TV and the other end doesn't. So if I plug it in the wrong way, it doesn't work. But for most people, the HDMI cable you have is bigger and thicker, and it works in either direction. So that's probably a lot easier. The only advantage of this, if you can find one, is it's very portable. So it's easy to throw in a suitcase, and when you're stuck in that hotel room and you don't want to pay $14.99 for a one-and-a-half-year-old movie, you can stream anything you want off of Netflix or Hulu. Very cool stuff. Now, let's start by looking at the back of our TV and starting to hook things up. For the next step, we're looking behind the television, and like most TVs, this one's pretty complicated, but let me point out, here's the HDMI. So there's already one plugged in. We're gonna use the second one. Here's our cable with HDMI TV on it. As I said, if you have a regular HDMI cable, it's more easy. And now, with a little bit of wiggling, we're plugged in. That's it, that's all we gotta do on the back of the TV. Okay, so the hard part's out of the way, believe it or not. The hard part really is trying to figure out the back of the TV. So now that we've done that, let me move the TV remote. We're going to plug the HDMI cable in to the computer. There we go. And now you say, all right, that's cool. Turn the TV on. And remember in the back, we connected it to HDMI 2. So you want to make sure you have the same matched input on the television. Um, if you don't get the same one on mine, it actually it's already set up to HDMI 2. But if you don't have that, then you might have to find a button labeled Input and choose different input options till you get a match. Meanwhile, I'm here, it's here, nothing's happening. All right, you're thinking, yeah, maybe this isn't working. But here's what you need to do. So let's go to Control Panels. I'm running Windows. So I go to Control Panels. And in Control Panels, I'm going to go ahead and adjust screen resolution. Now you look at this and you say, all right, well, there's two screens, but one of them's grayed out. What's that all about? And I don't know why it does that, but you just choose to, choose extend the desktop, choose apply. And if we have good screen karma, it should work. Uh, it didn't. We'll try it again. And, and I don't know why. Sometimes you have to do this more than once. I think Windows is cranky. Um, aha! But there we go. Now it's on the TV. So this is good. One more tweak. By default, I want to actually have it be a higher resolution, closer to high def. So my recommendation is 1184 by 666. So you choose that. You choose Apply and watch on the TV. As you can see, it takes up a lot more of the TV screen. So that's good. I mean, we don't want to do all this and only see a little piece of the television. And then I'll say, do you want to keep these display settings? Well, yeah, that would be useful. So that's it. Believe it or not, now we're ready to roll. And what's happened is that this screen is an extension of this screen. So now I'm going to bring up Internet Explorer. And it's on the wrong screen. So I'm going to click and drag the top of the screen across, and there you go. It's on the television. Cool, eh? So move it over to there. And I've already picked a cooking show on Hulu in case we want to learn how to do some cooking. Okay, so the other thing we can do is we can obviously watch things like Netflix. So I've preloaded this Netflix movie. I press play. All right, that's all there is. That's pretty straightforward. Me, I think I'm going to swing back and watch the rest of that movie. Kind of something I like doing. And for you, now you know you can open up a whole world of video content right there on your television. And it's pretty surprisingly easy once you have all the right gear. Hope that's really helpful. I'm Dave Taylor for AskDaveTaylor.com, and I'll be back with you soon with another really useful video. Thanks a lot.